welcome back in today's video i am going to show you appointment booking form in this form you can only select that particular slots which is available for the appointments for example let me show you a demo i just simply select the date and on which time i want to make an appointment first of all i will check the available time slots so right now all these green are the available time slots and the red are the already booked time slots so in our google sheet you can see already have four appointments on the same date and we can also here see the four appointments is already booked so i wanna make a appointment for 10 30 and i just simply select the 10 30 so now you can see the color changes here so after that the name the phone the email fields are unlocked i enter my name and i enter my phone number and i enter my email id so when i i, I enter my email id so now you can see here i enter my email id and here's i will add my notes i, I want to make a web whatever you want to add so click on this book appointment when you click on this book appointment so your appointment is booked successfully so now you can see here the 10 30 slot is successfully booked and it's not available for any other persons okay so what what is this uh the name the phone the email is not writable yet because first user want to let us know on which date he want appointment uh is it available or not for example i want to make on 28th i want to make on all the avail uh, all the slots are available on the 28th date i simply select the 12 30 and now the fields are the unlocked i simply enter, enter my information and click on this book appointment so now you can able to see my appointment is successfully booked and when i select the 28th delay date so you can see here that particular slot is already booked so i can directly manage the data from my google sheet but if some people want it through the admin panel so we have an option of admin panel and uh, in our google sheet we have a child sheet of name login we simply copy our username and password and paste it here and click on this login when i am going to click on this login so now you can able to see all the informations all the bookings all the appointments i can able to see directly on my web application uh for uh, make a concept clear i will open it on another tab and uh, in my email you can also see one email is sent to the admin and one email is sent to the appointment booker who book the appointments okay so this is uh, my system this is the available time slots so uh, what happened if i if a doctor want to uh, 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 add an appointment for a person which is just sit in, in 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 front of him so he simply click on this add appointment enter his name ahmad okay enter his name enter his phone number enter his email id enter his notes and select the date okay so right now you will see i select the 27th date and i now in the drop down i can only see the available time slots which is available on the 27th day not all the time slots okay so i am i select the time slots 11 so now you can see here here's 11 is not booked right now okay so i simply select on this uh complete it and click on this save so when i am going to click on this save so now you can see here appointment added successfully and it's completed and on the same time when i select the date so now the 11th the 11th slot is not available for any other person to book the appointment at the same time so uh, on the 28th already we have one booked slots if i want to make uh, another slots i simply select this and enter my information and click on this book appointment and now you can able to see all the data is successfully comes here so if you want to refresh your data you can simply click on this refresh data so now you can see all the data come uh, comes here so in the meantime you can able to see the total eight appointments available you received and completed appointments is two cancelled appointments is one and the pending appointments is five okay so if you wanna make a copy of all of these uh, you can simply click on this copy and if you wanna make an excel file download you can simply click on this csv file so your excel file is successfully be downloaded 
So if you want to make a PDF, so you can also download the PDF of your web applications. Okay. So what happened if you want to filter a date of a particular date range? I select the date, start date, and I select the previous date. It will give me an error. Start date must be before end date. Okay. So I select the later on date and click on this filter. No data found in these particular dates. I simply click on this clear icon, and after two seconds, I am able to see all the data again. Okay. So this is our admin login. So uh, we cannot able to go to our uh, Google Sheet and uh, uh, manage our data from here. We can directly manage our appointments data through our admin login section. So here you can enter your username and password and easily you can manage your all of your appointments, add appointments, refresh data. So and when you click on this appointment form, you can able to see appoint, uh, uh, appointment form again. So. Uh, on the main time when you book appointment you can also see the appointment uh, confirmation emails so if you like this concept like this video like this form like this web application simply go to our channel click on the subscribe icon and press on all bell icons okay and watch my video and please do the comments your comment is very necessary for me so take care meet you in our next beautiful and grand video take care Hope you best of luck for your best future.